Hi, as an ex casino employee, I am going to show you how to determine a video poker percentage payout just by looking and analyzing the pay table. I still have some videos poker official payout data sheets from manufacturers I have kept when I worked on casinos, and I am going to explain to you how to find a video poker payout percentage by looking at the pay table. Video pokers are usually paying from a range between 87 to over 99% and payout percentage is determined according to the pain table. Let's start the explications. All you have to do is looking at the pay table. To determine a video poker payout percentage, just follow the few steps. Look at the payout table by checking the payout ratio for one coin played according to the payout table. As example for a standard jacks or better video poker game, the payout table ratio can be as shown below. I have reprocuted the payout table for different video poker machines from the brand Bally, with their official payout percentage, as mentioned by the manufacturer specifications. Each poker machine has a game chip, EPROM, with a specified percentage payout ratio. The machine is using a 52 cards deck, and draw cards randomly, randomly, as if it's real cards drawn by a real casino dealer, and with the deck shuffled before each new game. Then as it is like a random cards draw, like on a real casino, then the payout table can fluctuate the total game payout ratio. Just see below the four difference payout table from four different poker machines, and notice the payout variations, highlighted in red, from each pay tables with the full house, and also the flush which can increase or decrease the machine payout percentage, as example on a video poker with this pay table. The payout percentage is between 92.7 to 94%, and on the pay table below, the payout percentage is between 93.8 to 95.2%. Just by changing the paying amount for the full house from 6 to 1, to 7 to 1 on the paying table, this changed the total game payout. These jacks or better video poker games pay table starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 for winning hands from jacks or better to full house, for the first pay table. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for the second pay table. Only the pain for the full house is changed from 6 to 1 to 7 to 1. This is a video poker pay table paying 6 to 1 for a full house, and another one paying 7 to 1, increasing then, the total percentage payout. Now here is another pay table with the full house paying 8 to 1, increasing then the total payout percentage to between 95 to 96.3%. Only the paying amount for the full house winning hand has changed, and this changed the total game's payout. Now let's have a look to another paying table, with the full house paying 9 to 1. Again, this increased the total game's payout percentage and it goes from between 97.3 to 98.6%. As you can see on this video poker pay table, the full house pays 8 to 1, and on this one, it pays 9 to 1. Note that the flush winning hand pain ration has been changed as well, from 5 to 1 to 6 to 1, and this change then the total games pay out. As the hit ratio for such winning hands pays more, giving an actual pay range between 97.3 to 98.6%, with a basic payout of 98.77%, and an optimal payout of 100.10%. According to the manufacturer's games data sheet, from Bally Gaming, and its standard jacks or better video poker games, important notes about payout tables, in the current example showed here, I've selected payout tables from video poker machines without progressive jackpots and, or bonuses, as it can decrease the total machine payout percentage. Why? As example for a video poker machine connected to a progressive jackpot, each time a coin is played, the progressive jackpot increment, and this increase in the total payout percentage for the video poker machine, suppose you play a video poker machine with a payout of 97 to 98%. Then if the casino employees add a progressive jackpot to this poker machine, the percentage will increase as each time a coin is played. The progressive jackpot increment, depends of the increment amount value determined in the jackpot administration configuration, example, increment of 1, 2 or 3 cents per coin played, 
and then the total machine payout will be increased. See example on the pay table number 4, suppose the royal flush payout is 4000, and now the current royal flush payout is 7598 as it is a progressive jackpot. And it will go on increase each time a player add a coin on the machine, until 1. Adding a progressive jackpot to a video poker machine increase the total percentage payout, so to compensate and equilibrate the total payout percentage, which is currently 97.3 to 98.6 percent on this example for the pay table number 4, the machine percentage will be reduced. As example to add a progressive jackpot to a video poker machine with a pay table like the number 3 will be better for the casino to equilibrate its total payout and not to have an overpaying video poker machine. This payout table number 3 has an actual payout percentage of 95 to 96.3% without a progressive jackpot, and adding 1 will increase the percentage. Of course, it depends of jackpot increment setting, which can vary, but it can then match the total payout percentage of table number 4, which is currently 97.3 to 98.6%. So usually, Progressive jackpots are added into video poker machines with lower payout percentage. Remind note, see the flush payout change between pay table number 3 and 4, and as this change the total percentage payout, adding a progressive jackpot to a poker machine. With a pay table number 3 will approximately increase the total percentage payout such as the machine with the pay table number 4 without progressive jackpot. In fact it is like that. Win more from this but win less from that. So the poker machines will match the average casino's payout, if the casino does not. Program its poker machines like that for progressive jackpots and bonus poker games, the casino's total payout will be too high, so their solution is. Win more from this but win less from that. These are official data sheets from the Sigma Video Poker brands, for a progressive jackpot game named Lotus 5 Ways which offer progressive jackpots for royal flush, but also straight flush, four of a kind, full house and flush. On the right you can see the pay table and the game's payout percentage, which is currently 88%, and with winning combinations for one coin played, from one pair of jacks or better, to the royal flush, which are, 1, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 15, 100 and 500. Note that two pairs pays one for one, same as one pair of jacks or better, and now on these two paying table here, you can see the variations of the winning hands, which are for the left pay table. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 15, 100 and 500 giving a payout percentage of 90%, and for the right pay table, with winning hands of, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 20. 100 and 500, which gives a payout percentage of 92%. Notice the pain ratio changing for these three examples shown, for the two pairs, the full house and the four of a kind. This change then the total game's payout. Now let's have a look to two more pain tables for this game. The on on the left has a payout of 94% for the following winning hands. From one pair of jacks or better to royal flush, which is currently 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 20, 100 and 500. And for the right paint table, the payout percentage is 96%, with winning hands like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 25, 100 and 500. Note that compared to the previous paint tables shown, here the pain value for the full house has changed, currently paying 8 to 1, and on the previous pay tables shown, it was 6 to 1 and 7 to 1. Note also the pain ratio for the 4 of a kind, on this two pain tables, it goes from 20 to 1, then to 25 to 1, increasing the total payout from 94 to 96%. Now let's have a look to another video poker with a progressive jackpot paying table and payout percentage. Winning hands goes from 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 20, 50, 100 and 500, for a total payout of 94%. You can compare both paying tables and look for the paying winning hands difference, 
making variations on paying hands like a full house as exam will change the total games. Payout redistribution. If you look at the hitting graphics below each pay table, it shows the average hitting percentage for a winning hand. So changing a pain ratio for the full house, the flush or the four of a kind will change then the game's total payout. Myself as an ex-casino employee, if I had to choose one video poker with a progressive jackpot to play with, I will play the video poker progressive with the highest payout percentage. There are some with a quite high payout percentage ratio, as example for the online casinos using the Playtech gaming software. They have a video poker progressive jackpot with a high payout percentage, which should be on the average of 99% payout return ratio. According to the game pay table which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 25, 50 and 250. With a payout return of 6 to 1 for the flush, 9 to 1 for the full house and 25 to 1 for a 4 of a kind. You will have more payout returns probability by playing a video poker progressive jackpot game with a higher payout percentage, such as 98 or 99%, than playing on a 90 or 92% payout game. Of course the progressive jackpot increment can be set up by the casino's technicians, as example for a standalone video poker game with its own progressive jackpot, it can goes as example on increase of 1% of initial betting while on a jackpot connected to many different video poker machines, such as the one mentioned on the Playtech online casinos, the increment can goes like 0.1% of initial betting. Now let's talk about video poker games with bonus. It can be a four of a kind bonus, joker poker, multiple joker such as deuces or wild, or a high low royal flush. The current payout table is for a video poker game with four of a kind bonuses. The payout percentage ratio is the same for video poker with bonuses. As example, four of a kind bonuses, machines offering free games, high low poker machines where the straight flush pay is a royal flush. But here is an example of a four of a kind bonus game on a video poker machine with the payout table. As you can see on this bonus four of a kind poker game, each four of a kind with different cards, as shown on the pay table are paying a different amount. It can goes from 50 to 1, 80 to 1, 160 to 1 and 400 to 1. As this bonus payout for the 4 of a kind winning hand will increase the total game payout percentage, so to compensate and equilibrate the total percentage payout, two pairs are paid 1 to 1, the same as one pair of jacks or better, as two pairs are common hands on a poker game reducing the payout from 2 to 1 by 1 to 1 compensate the increased total payout due to the bonuses four of a kind feature. Let's talk now about Joker's wild video poker games. Here is an official data sheet for a Sigma brand's video poker game called Extra Draw Joker's Wild. As you can see on the payout ratio table on the right, you can find this game with many different payout percentages, starting from 83.8, 87.1. 88.4, 91, 92.3, 93.6, to 96.2%. As an optimal highest payout percentage ratio. Now just look at the pay table, and compare the winning hands with the payout percentage shown. You can see some differences between winning hands pays such as the straight, which vary from 3, 4 and 5 to 1. The flush which vary from 4 and 5 to 1. And the full house which vary from 6, 7, 8 and 9 to 1. And as these are common winning hands with a quiet high hit frequency, changing the paying amount for such winning hands will then change the total game percentage payout. Just look at the chart below the pay table, it show the pay loading for the first column on the pay table, and as you can see, the hit frequency for the straight is 17%. For the flush is 11%, and for the full house it is 14%. Then as these are common winning hands with a hit percentage from between 11 to 17%, changing the paying amount ratio for such winning hands with an increase or decrease the game's total payout percentage. Here is another video poker game with 4 jokers. This game is called Deuces Wild, as all 2 are jokers. Here is an official Sigma manufacturer's data sheet for this game. 
and as you can see, the total game's payout percentage vary from 89.6, 90 90.8, 91.1, 91.8, 92.8 and 93.8%. Again the same system apply for the total game's payout, there are variations on the pain table which make increase on decrease the game's total payout percentage. On this game, the first winning hand is a three of a kind, and it pays one to one. Remember that on this game, you have four jokers, so a three on a kind is a common winning hand. With a hit frequency of 27% based on the pay loading chart located below the pain table. Then variations occur on the following winning hands, the full house which pays three and four to one. The straight flush which pays eight, nine and ten to one. The five of a kind which pays 10, 12 and 15 to one and the royal flush with deuces wild which pays 20 and 25 to 1. On this game, changing the payout table ratio will then increase or decrease the total game's payout from 89.6 to 93.8%. This is another joker poker from the gaming manufacturer Tronic. The current pay table for this video poker game gives an actual payout percentage of 96.78%. The winning hand starts from a pair of kings or better, and for one coin played, this hand pays one to one. Same pays for two pairs, three of a kind pays two to one, straight three to one, flush five to one, full house seven to one, four of a kind fifteen to one, straight flush fifty to one royal flush with joker one hundred to one, five of a kind two hundred to one and royal flush without joker four hundred to one. Now have a look to the official electronic pain chart percentage ratio, and as you can see, there is four different percentages available for this game, according, of course, to the pain table. Payout percentage vary from 95.15, 95.84, 96.24 and 96.78%. The one we have looked on the previous pain table is 96.78%. And look now at the pain ratio from the different pay tables. The flush vary from 4 and 5 to 1, the full house from 5, 6 and 7 to 1, the 4 of a kind from 15, 18 and 20 to 1, and the straight flush from 40 and 50 to 1. All these winning hands with payout variations are changing the total game's payout percentage. Back to a simple jacks or better poker game pain tables where it is easy to determinate the payout percentage due to the simple pay table which contain no extra pain bonuses. As you can see, the winning hands for the full house changes a payout from 6 to 1, to 7 to 1. And this increase the game total payout. And on these two pain tables, the payout ratio for the full house is 8 to 1 for the left table, and 9 to 1 for the right table. With also the flush payout which has increased from 5 to 1 to 6 to 1. Increasing then the total game payout. If you look at a pay loading chart percentage for each winning hand. It is easy to understand that changing winning hands payout ratio will then increase or decrease the total game payout. As the examples I showed you before with the payout variations for the full house, flush or four of a kind. Which are changing the total game percentage payout. By looking at this manufacturer's data sheet for a Sigma brand, Jax or better video poker game, you can look and analyze the different pay tables variations, with their payout percentage ratio, which are increasing or decreasing the total game payout percentage, according to the winning hands pay loading chart located below the pay tables, and the paying tables ratio for each winning hand. As you can see for this Sigma video poker game, the total game payout percentage vary from 88.8, and 96.2 for the maximum payout percentage. Note that the highest payout percentage for this Sigma game is 96.2%, with a pay table starting from jacks or better to the royal flush at the ratio 1, 2, 3, 4. 6, 8, 25, 100 and 500. If the full house pain value, which is currently for this game 8 to 1, is increased to 9 to 1, 
then the total game payout will go on increase to approximately between 97 to 98 percent instead of the current 96.2 percent like on this pay table and if you see a video poker game with the same pay table which is currently with a high payout percentage but with some extra bonuses such as a progressive jackpot as the example i showed before with the online casinos using the playtech gaming software or some game bonuses such as a four of a kind bonus then the total game payout percentage will go on increase like plus or minus 99 percent this is another example of extra bonuses video poker game it pays the straight flush as a royal flush it is called the high low or two ways royal flush game as this increase in the total game payout percentage the payout for the full house is reduced to six to one and the payout for a four of a kind is increased to 40 to one this changes equilibrate the total game payout to around 99 percent another bonus poker game is the tens or better a game paying for a pair of ten instead of a pair of jacks or better this will increase the total game payout so to equilibrate the game total payout percentage the full house pays six to one and the four of a kind pays twenty to one which gives as a correct total game payout not too high but not low if you see a tens or better game with a full house pain as example seven to one and a four of a kind pain 25 to 1, then the total game payout percentage will be higher. Now you can determine the video poker average payout percentage, just by looking at the pay table. The game's payout percentage is determined by the game electronic chip, EPROM, or a gaming software for online casinos. But determined and fixed by manufacturers. A casino employee or slot machines technician can change the machine payout percentage by change on the game chip, or depends of machine brand, by changing some electronic jumpers on the main electronic board, but if doing so, the game pay table will be changed as well. A casino employee or slot technician cannot program the winning hands hit frequency on a gaming machine, as the game is random. So there is no way to program the winning hands hit frequency on a gaming machine. The only thing that can change the machine paying cycle, is if the memory is erased with a RAM clear. As example, due to technical problems or interventions on electronic components. A RAM clear can be done by a casino technician. Depends of the machine brand and model, it can be done as example with a RAM clearing chip or by swapping some built-in electronic jumpers or changing the main board battery on the game electronic board. This action will have the effect to break the game cycle on the current memory, and to reset to zero the game meters shown on the display, and the game will start like with a new cycle. This does not mean that the machine will pay less or more, as it is totally random. I have seen myself some video poker machines paying two or three royal flush in less than one hour, so, if a machine has paid its top jackpot, this does not mean that the machine will not pay for a while. Not at all. As opposite, I have seen some machines with a high percentage payout not paying for a while. It is totally random. And clearing a slot machine safe RAM memory does not mean that the machine will start from zero game and will not pay for a while. It is just, random. Okay. I hope you have appreciated these explications about video poker's payout percentage. Note that the most easy video poker game to check a payout percentage is the simple jacks or better game. As shown on these video poker pay tables, it is easy to see the paying hands changes, such as for the full house, the flush, the four of a kind, or another winning hand, depends of the poker game, but variations on the pay table are done to increase or decrease or to equilibrate the total game payout percentage. And to understand that this increase or decrease the total game payout. As the winning hands have a determinated pay loading chart percentage. And according to this chart, changing the pain ratio on some winning hands changes the total game payout percentage. Another notification I want to mention about video poker payout percentage is about the double feature. On a winning hand, the player can double. The display will show one card, and the player have to pick one card from the four remaining, but with a higher value. And you can consider a video poker machine have, 
two payout percentage. One for the standard poker game. And one for the double feature. Why I am saying that? I have done many technical operations on video poker machines from different brands when I was working on casinos. And on video poker machines, the admin panel is showing the game fixed percentage payout. And the current payout percentage according to the previous games played. And I have noticed for the Sigma brand video pokers that when I check the admin panel settings and options, like I do on all other video poker machines. It show the game payout percentages, plus two current percentages. One for the standard game according to the previous games played. And one for the double feature. Unlike other video pokers from other brands, which display only the total game payout, the video poker for the Sigma brand displays both payout percentages for the standard game and the double feature. I have noticed as well fluctuations on these meters especially the one for the double, which can be low payout percentage if the game is played only for winning hands, and not too much on double. And as opposed it, it can be very high and over 100% payout when some players are going like mad on double by doubling at highest winnings Dan hit the good cards. I consider myself that a video poker game with the double feature, has like, two payout percentages, one for the standard winning hands game and one for the double feature. Let's talk about winning cards frequency on doubling. For each few double games tried, as example each 20 or 30 doubled games, let's say that there is one double that can go very high. When I say very high, I am talking about what I have seen on casinos. Like some high double games performed, as example from a simple jacks or better winning hand which pays 5 to 1. Going from 5, doubled to 10, then 20, 40, 80, 160, 320, 640, 1280, 2560, 5120, or played with one single coin and going from 1 credit to 2018 1. Some high doubles like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. 256, 512, 1024, 2018. It is not so rare to see such high double on video poker machines, but it is not easy as well to hit all of the good cards to reach such high doubling. A high double paying approximately the same amount than the royal flush. As example for a video poker machine with a royal flush paying 4000 coins has a larger winning panel if we apply the winning frequency on a graph in the royal flush itself. As example on this graph, the horizontal line is the, time, and the number of games played. On the vertical line is the hit frequency, represented by a green graph for the royal flush. And by a red graph for the double. Notice the larger, I will call, possible hit frequency, for the double, than for the royal flush. It means that there is more chance to get high payments from double than from winning hands on a specified or not, lapse of time. Of course it is up to the player to select and pick the higher card for winning the double hand. If players select the lower card and then lose the double hand, then he may have missed a series of doubles which can go on a high payout. Myself if I play some double games on video poker, I will choose a simple jacks or better game or a similar one, like the tens or better. But I will avoid playing video poker games with jokers, such as a joker wild, or wild deuces game, as on these games there are jokers. Which are high figure value cards, then the possibility to get one of these joker card, which is a high figure value on double game draw is increased, then it decrease the total chances for getting winning hands when doubling. To explain this on another way. Adding one joker on a 52 cards deck, is like adding a high figure value card to the cards deck. And adding four jokers, like on the deuces wild game, is like adding four high figure value card to the cards deck. And we can consider that can reduce the hitting of possible winning hands on double games, at my own opinion and experience. That is why for double games on video poker, I will rather play a game like Jex or better, than a joker wild game. These was explications about the video poker double game, 
But let's go back to the previous explications about the standard winning hands game payout percentage, as explained before. Remind yourself these simple explications about the paying tables, can increase or decrease the total game's payout. It will helps you to determine a video poker game payout percentage. Just by looking at the pay table. Remind yourself to check the pay value for the full house, but also the flush, four of a kind or other winning hands. If you see a video poker game with progressive jackpots or bonus games such as four of a kind bonus, always analyze the pay table ratio to determine the average game's payout percentage. As it is better to play, as example a game with 98 or 99% payout, than a 89 or 90% payout. Increasing the possibilities to get some winning hands for the player. But remind yourself that does not mean the player will win by playing higher percentage payout games, but he will then have more chances to get some winning hands, increasing then the possibilities of winning. A video poker paydable with its own winning hands hit frequency, and according to the pay loading chart, is like a mathematic calcul to determine the total game percentage payout. Now all you have to do to determine the video poker payout percentage is looking at the pay table.